Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into QQQ. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, August 30th, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since August 29, 2023, our system has ranked QQQ as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.20. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 0.56%. This translates to an average return of 0.28% per day since it was listed as by candidate. The ETF lies in the middle of a weak rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 3.57% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 1.11% and 7.83%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 40.1% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 24.99% and 48.68%. This translates to a price range of $471.02 to $560.30 after a year. Our latest daily update for QQQ includes the headline, Green Day on Wednesday for QQQ. The QQQ ETF price gained 0.558% on the last trading day, Wednesday, August 30, 2023, rising from $374.77 to $376.86. It has now gained four days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 0.96% from a day low at $373.86 to a day high of $377.45. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 3.95% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 18 million shares and in total, 40 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $15.19 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $387.98, and the lowest price was $254.26. Currently, the price is 2.87%, or $11.12, below the 52-week high, and 7.79%, or $31.85, below the all-time high on November 22, 2021, when the price reached $408.71. The following signals have been identified for QQQ. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The QQQ ETF holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock, but the ETF has a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $368.02 and $372.85. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, August 18, 2023, and so far it has risen 5.23%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The ETF should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 9 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 9 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 6 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 3 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. 
by signal 16 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 3 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 155 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 148 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for QQQ QQQ finds support from accumulated volume at $367.93 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general the ETF tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $3.59 between high and low, or 0.96%. For the last week the ETF has had daily average volatility of 1.92%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for QQQ, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for QQQ. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for QQQ is at $379.07. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, QQQ encounters its first support level at $367.93. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $361.47, minus 4.08%. This ETF has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 8 days ago. Is QQQ ETF a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for QQQ ETF to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, August 31st, we expect QQQ to open down minus 80 cents and start trading at $376.06. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.